Today, I'm going to show you how to run a set of tests inside a Docker container. First off, make sure Docker Desktop is running in the background. If you don't have Docker Desktop, a quick Google search will show you how to install it, it's super easy. Alright, let's start by creating a Docker file. This file gives us the instructions for building an image. For our case, we're going to pull in the latest node image, since we'll need npm to handle the commands. If we were working with Python Selenium tests, we could go with the latest Python image instead. I'm naming the working directory tests, that's where our scripts will run. Now, we'll set an environment variable to prevent Playwright from popping open a browser on a failed run. This way the container will keep going right to the end, even if there's an error. Next, we're going to do an initial git clone to pull in a run script. I'm grabbing the correct repository URL from GitLab. Our test environment is here. We just ran npm init playwright at latest to get started and this is what it created. It contains a couple of example tests that we can run. Here's the test run script we'll use. It clones the test environment into a directory called run dir Separating the working directory and the running directory helps keep things organized. If we add more Docker scripts down the line, they won't interfere with the test run. Inside run dir we'll install Playwright along with any necessary browser dependencies. The final line runs the tests with trace on, so we can debug more easily afterward. Once our Docker file is ready, we're set to build the image. Adding the no cache parameter keeps everything clean by forcing the build to skip the cache, and the pull parameter will pull down all the images fresh. Without no cache, I've noticed that Git doesn't always update properly during the build process. The T parameter lets us assign our own name to the image, and the period at the end specifies the build context. Our image built successfully. Now we're ready to run the container. We'll use the volume parameter to mount the run directory to our local machine. This lets us view logs and reports, and any other files we might need to see after the run. You could also just mount the test report directory if you want, but for now, we'll mount the whole thing. The first path is the local path, and the second is the path within the container. Then, the IT parameter makes the run interactive in the terminal, and RM will automatically delete the container when the run is done. Then we add the image name we built, and finally the command to run inside the container, which is our test run script that was cloned during the build. There we go. The test run passed. If you want to see the test report, just run the show report command with the path to the report directory. You'll also find the trace files there if you need to debug any of the tests. One last thing. If you try to rerun the same command, you'll get a fatal error because the local run directory isn't empty. So either clear out that local directory before rerunning, or add a nice timestamp to the local path like I'm showing here. And that's it, a nice timestamp. That wraps up this mini tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy testing.